I am Nancy Nalimer and let's begin. Tonight, President Uhuru Kenyatta has led the country in this year's National Prayer Breakfast at Safari Park Hotel in Nairobi. Leaders present have underscored the need for a peaceful transition of power as the nation gears up for the general election. The annual breakfast is organized by speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate. Today marking the last session under the Jubilee administration. Let's listen in. Early Thursday morning, President Uhuru Kenyatta led leaders and diplomats in what is now the last breakfast prayer under his administration. The head of state noting the importance of the prayer in fostering national cohesion. And I say this, well aware that the tempo of our politics is beating at an increasing rate day by day. But I just wish to emphasize that even as we engage in the upcoming contest this year or later this year, we know that the task of building a nation is a task that is passed from a generation to a generation. Generation and generations of leaders are therefore called upon to pass that button unbroken, and I intend to do just that. Uncertainty over the future of the nation in the run-up and the aftermath of the general elections dominated the theme of today's prayer session. Speaker after speaker calling for a peaceful electoral process to ensure the country does not travel another journey of post-election skirmishes. And to remain true to his word, and that has just been ably demonstrated to us by our religious leaders from all the faiths. We join in one account to play against the spirit of fear of violence that is related to erections. Let no Kenyan be subjected to violence. Let no Kenyan be displaced or lose their property or loved ones due to electoral violence. As it has now become the norm with public gatherings, politics did not escape today's prayer session. Deputy President William Ruto breaking the protocol to invite his rival Martha Karu. pray that moving forward, and especially after these prayers, that our actions match our words. How we pray, especially for RAS leaders, even as we compete, we compete with ideas, not insults. I believe that whoever will be elected in this election, it will be the will of God, and we will respect <laughs> the will of God as expressed by the will of the people of Kenya. Rahila's absence, though, raising eyebrows and numerous questions over the state of his relationship with President Uhuru Kenyatta. Just what is going on between the two statesmen? Henry Tende, Look Up TV. Thank you, Henry Tende. And still on that breakfast, uh, Deputy President.